The most shocking all-time medical practices. Heroin cough syrup. The pharmaceutical company Bayer coined the name heroin in 1898 and marketed the drug as a non-addictive cough medicine, among other uses. Heroin was sold in a variety of forms, mixed in cough syrup, made into tablets, mixed as an elixir, and put into water-soluble heroin salts. At the end of the first year, it was popularly sold in over 23 countries, with Bayer producing around one ton of heroin in that year. Mercury. Mercury was once used as a common elixir and topical medicine. While some accounts claimed it was successful in fighting infection, patients often died from organ damage caused by mercury poisoning. The whirling chair. A chair modified with a spring and lever system used to spin patients until they passed out. The belief was that all the spinning would cure conditions such as schizophrenia and other mental illnesses by shuffling the contents of the brain. Radium. During the early 1900s, radioactive water flew off the shelves. It was considered in the medical community to cure mental illness and even prevent aging because of its ability to stimulate cell activity. The U.S. Surgeon General at the time considered it a legitimate treatment for diarrhea and malaria. Radium began appearing in not only water, but also in chocolates, contraceptives, toothpaste, and suppositories. Corpse Medicine for a couple of centuries, it was considered the norm to use ground-up skull to treat migraine or rubbing human fat on the spot of the muscle for aches. Human organs, fat, bones, blood, and mummified remains were considered magical, and the cannibalistic remedies were used up until the 18th century. The general idea behind this practice was that the patient receiving the treatment would actually benefit from the soul and spirit of the donor. Frontal lobotomy. Walter Freeman developed the ice pick lobotomy in 1945 and performed between 3,500 and 5,000 himself. Later, he was considered a moral monster, and lobotomy one of the most barbaric mistakes of modern medicine. Lobotomy consists of cutting or scraping away most of the connections to and from the prefrontal cortex, the anterior part of the frontal lobes of the brain. While a small percentage of people supposedly got better, for most patients, lobotomy had negative effects on their personality and ability to function on their own. Bloodletting. In the Middle Ages, blood, and excess blood in particular, was often seen as the cause of multiple ailments. Therefore, doctors would remove large quantities of blood from a person's veins in hope that it would cure them. The two main ways of doing this were by leaching or simply cutting a vein. Arsenic Arsenic may be a well-known poison, but for centuries it was used as a medicine. Arsenic was a key ingredient in many medicines used to treat arthritis. It was also a supposed cure for malaria and syphilis, used from the late 18th century all the way until the 1950s. Trepanning Trepanning involved burrowing a small hole into the skull to expose the outer membrane of the brain. It was believed to alleviate pressure and treat health problems localized within the head. It was thought to cure epilepsy, migraines, and mental disorders, and was a common fix for physical problems like skull fractures. Such exposure of the brain to airborne germs would often be fatal. Stink therapy. In the Middle Ages, the Black Death was thought to be caused by deadly vapors. Doctors were convinced that the key to fighting the disease was the use of therapeutic stink. They urged people to keep goats in the home and to store flatulence in jars. Each time the deadly pestilence appeared in the neighborhood, people were to open the jars and take a whiff. <laughs> 